Hey y'all, today I'm going to be making some delicious southern butter beans. These butter beans will be the best butter beans you have ever put in your mouth. I promise. To get started, I'm going to chop up some white onion and I'm going to chop up a fourth of a cup. I'm going to do now is I'm going to melt some bacon fat and I'm going to saute these onions in that bacon fat and I'm going to use a half a tablespoon. We're not using a whole lot of bacon grease because we want to keep the calories pretty low. I'm going to let this grease melt down. Shouldn't take too long. I have the heat on medium low heat. The grease is all melted and now I'm going to add onions. And we just want to cook the onions until they are translucent. Millie, do you know what translucent means? You learn those words. Translucent, transparent, and opaque. Trans... What does transparent, transparent mean? Clear. Mm -hmm. Opaque means you can't see through it. Right. So what do you think translucent is? Medium? Medium, yeah. <laughs> it's like... You can kind of see through. Well, the onions are where I want them. So what I'm going to do now is take a bouillon cube, a chicken bouillon cube, and I'm going to cut it in half. And the reason for that is because, well, bouillon cubes can be very salty. And so I don't want to add too much salt. I've made these too salty before and I mean I liked them but my husband was like mm-mm. So I'm gonna take the bouillon cube and just throw it in here. I'm not gonna add any liquid yet. It'll break up um, once it gets in that grease and gets warm. To that I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Now, I don't know if adding the seasonings like before all the juices and stuff like actually does anything. Like to me it does. Like it, it tends to bring out more of the flavor if you just kind of let it cook down in there without all the juices getting in the way. I don't know, that could just be me. <laughs> After that, I'm going to turn this down just a tad. It was on medium low. I'm just going to turn it down to low. We're going to add some garlic powder and we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon. And then we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just gonna mix that around again. See my bouillon cube, I think you can see it, it just mushed up. I'm gonna let all that kind of cook in there just for a minute or so. Mm, it smells so good. What I'm gonna do now is take two cans of butter beans. I'm not going to drain them. You know, this um, can opener is awesome. It, opens it so it doesn't have rough edges <laughs> that can cut you. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump the whole thing in. Alright, All right, let's stir it up. Now at this point, I'm not going to add any more liquid. I'm going to let the butter beans cook in their own juices. What we're going to do is turn the heat up to high. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to put the lid on it and we're going to turn the temperature down to low and we're going to let these simmer for an hour or more. Now what you want to do is check it often to make sure there's still liquid in your butter beans and if you notice that 
is getting pretty dry, then you can add some water or some chicken stock would be really nice. If I had chicken stock, I would be adding that. All right, we are boiling now. So I'm gonna put the lid on and turn it on low. All right, y'all, they've been cooking for almost 45 minutes. So you can see that the broth is getting a bit thicker, but the beans still feel a bit hard. They don't feel as soft as I want them to be. All right, we're gonna put the lid back on. So these are definitely gonna cook longer than an hour. We'll shoot for an hour and a half to maybe two hours. It just depends. I'm gonna turn the heat back up because they're no longer boiling. All right, we're gonna put the lid on, or actually we'll just wait for them to come back to a boil. All right, y'all, they are back to a boil. So I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm gonna turn it back on low to simmer. All right, y'all, the beans have been simmering for about an hour and 45 minutes. So we are going to taste test them to see if they were ready and to see if we need to add anything to them. Make Cheers. sure to blow them so your mouth is not on fire. <laughs> Cheers. All right, here we go. Mm. What do you think? It's good. It's just like when you bite into it, it's mm -hmm. like the stuff on the inside of the pea, mm -hmm. it like goes into your mouth, mm -hmm. and then you swallow it, but then the skin's left <laughs> in your mouth. Yeah, so <laughs> that's cute. That's a cute description. <laughs> it's so true. But it's good, isn't it? It's got the salt, saltiness of it is really good. The flavor, mm, that's really good. I'm gonna have to get me another bite. Mm. That is really good and really hot. <laughs> Did you want any more? Sort of, but I kind of used the same spoon. Did you just put your other spoon in the dishwasher? Mm-hmm. Girl. What? I can't use the same spoon. <laughs> just get another one. If she's going back for seconds, that means that it's good. Because if it wasn't good, she wouldn't go back for seconds. Mm. Okay. I got more than two beans. Oh, good. I got about a small spoonful. <laughs> Wow, I think it's as hot as those potatoes. That souffle. <laughs> Sweet potato souffle was hot. All right, so you think that's good? Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Now, the butter beans are going to be even better the next day. The longer that they can sit in the juices or its own broth that it made. Um, let me bring you a little closer here. Now, when it was cooking, I did end up adding some water to it because the liquid was getting pretty low. So I added about three fourths a cup of water. And um, you also wanna make sure you're stirring occasionally. So every time you check on it, stir it because you may find that the butter beans are wanting to stick to the bottom of your pan. Lauren and Millie signing off. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Some baking grease. Baking grease. Ooh. And I'm gonna saute these onions in that baking. In that baking pack. Look at us doing a science lesson while we are cooking. Science and math are everywhere, y'all. Millie just loves when I teach her something. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got to teach you that cameras cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a phone. Camera, it's a phone. phone. It's got a camera. Did I drop something back there? Oh, no, hell. There it is. Y'all, I smelled something burning, and I'm like...
we almost had a fire. <laughs> a little fire, hold on. I started smelling something that smelled like a cigarette and then I see smoke coming up from behind the um, pot here. And when I was trying to move the camera earlier, um, a bouillon cube slipped out of my hand and I was looking all over the floor and didn't see it. And then I see smoke coming up from behind the pot and then I start smelling something that smells like a cigarette. And sure enough, it was the bouillon cube that I had flung out of my hand. It was behind there getting charred. So, okay. Whew. That scared me. I think we're good. Whew. That's nice and black on there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Here's the charred bouillon. I don't know if you can see that. You see it right there? 